It doesn't mean it, it doesn't matter whether it's the limb itself or or meat. We're discussing that which is forbidden to Benoyach Eva Menachain. The was separated from the animal or from the wild animal. Benoyach is liable for death penalty if he ate of it. But regarding birds, Ram says, yearly it would seem she'en ben noyach nerag al even menachayim menu that a goy will not be killed for that. The Rebbe disagrees. Al even echad al even vechad aboso ama avrom minoyif the bird is well. And further, he says, ama avrom nearly she said toz besoifa must be a mistake. It said aval it should say aval asheretz. Even a high, even a share of the Menoyach is not killed for. <coughs> he disagrees with the Rambam about the oif. According to the Rambam, Menoyach is not like if he ate Ava and Bosa from an oif chai. Because the Mishnah explains that there are one uh, disagreement. There is no difference between Ben Noyach between Eve and Achai from an animal, Achaya, or from a bird, as there's no difference by Israel, only regarding uh, Shrotzim, which are only it means by calling insects. Shemini Noyach and Achai and Al Eve and Achai. Here they're not liable for a limb from a live being, a live being. As is in Alochi Yudin, it's an Edwin. Nun Tesom and Beis. It says in Alochi Yudin, it's brought from Sanhedrin. There is that. We eliminate the, uh, the concept of a uh, limb from a live animal because the blood of an uh, insect is not separated from its, its outer shell. Because the mission explains that the Raman writes. On a bird, it would seem that it might not be liable. He learned it from Chulun 101 or 102. Tanah Abonan, Chacham Torah, Seyum and Achai, a limb of live animals, Noi, Vehem Achai, Oif. Applies to a bird, a domesticated animal, a wild animal, and a bird, whether they are Tamei or Torah. These are the words of Yudah and Rabeloza. It only works by uh, animals that are not uh, that are permitted to be Jews. Uh, it limits it even more so. Even a wild animal is not included. The disagreement is only by Yisrael. There's no differentiation by him because there's no concept of a kosher animal or a non kosher animal. It says in the Brice, is warned against it, whether it's 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 one of the animals that we choose and not allowed to eat or whether they are allowed to eat it. And the soil is only warned about those that are kosher. She's been learning this on a mission in Taharis. Tommy eats him in a high. He does not get Malkis. And, and, and the Shrita does not permit you to eat from the Eve in a high. And as she explains, we're talking here about a bird which is not kosher. The Gemara says that by Yisrael, the Shrita wouldn't work on a bird that's tummy. It must be. The Mishnah is talking about Ben Noyach. We see from that that there's no shrit that doesn't permit it because of Ben Noyach, reliable even from a bird, because there's no concept of slaughtering by a Ben Noyach, even if you slaughter it and it, and it is still quivering, the body is quivering, it's liable for Ben Menachai. The Ram learns the words of the Mishnah, he doesn't get 40. Lashes on Eve and Oiv that is slaughtered, even though that it's 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 still shaking. His bezin did not punish him, but it's forbidden to do so. Well, it says you don't get the lashes, 
because it's the language of the Chachamim. By Benoyach, if you saw in a bird that's not kosher, or even kosher, will you always remain the Yisrael Eivim and Achai, as long as it is still quivering. Even though by Yisrael, the Shechita causes it to be considered no longer alive, and therefore you can't have, it's not a limb from a living animal. Therefore he says, Aval Oiv, my bird, it would seem, Benoyach is not near, I got Eivim and Achai, Mimenu, Ve'en Loima. You can't say that the Shechita doesn't permit the Ben Noach by Tomei, but it would somehow permit it by Oif Tomei if the Ramam is learning that the Mishnah is referring to Ben Noach. Because Ben Noach, there's no difference between an, a, an Aran kosher bird to a kosher bird. Since Ramoni Barpatish says the Reish is talking about Yisrael and the Sefer is talking about Ben Noach, therefore the law of the Oif Ben Noach is like an animal and a bird. And a wild an- a domesticated animal and a wild animal, that there is a din of Menachai. And since there was no decision in the Gemara of who it was the halacha with, so I didn't say, want to say the Menachai was not Nehrig Aloif. Maybe he wrote, therefore it seemed to me, but there's no conclusion in the Gemara. Abenu Gershon explains that the intent of the Mishnah is that he doesn't get Malchus, and therefore he is. Killed for it because the Noach is liable on Eivim and Achai of Oiv. He learns simply that if you can't have Malchus, then it's then the only other penalty is death. Gave him additional questions on the Rambam from Sanhedrin. There in Nun Tesaman Beis, it says that uh, insects are not included in this. Going to the Rambam should have, have excluded also birds from it. If you say birds are included in the, not being liable. He explains that the uh, limitation comes to tell you uh, e, that by Shrotzim it's to begin with. And by a bird, even though a, a Goya would not be liable for it for death penalty, it's forbidden because the, the birds are not eliminated, uh, are not minimized from the, from the POSIC. But he wouldn't be killed on it even though he is forbidden to, to eat from a bird a limb without killing it first. Crazy Placey is the opinion that the Ram is the opinion that even a of a bird is permitted to Ben Noyach because anything that's forbidden to him, he's killed for it. And we just said he's not killed on Ben Menachai. It must be that's permitted. And he writes that the Amonis Yisrael also agrees with that idea. Vakiva Ege questions from the end of the Gemara. That Shrit is not mat, it doesn't permit a ben noyach, the Eva Menachai, a bird that's not kosher, Nimsa, the ben noyach is also commanded on Eva Menachai, a bird. He concludes that we have to say, like the text of the, of the Riva, that what really should be said in the Gemara is Avala Sheretz, a rodent, a, an insect. Or like the Tehra Mishnah, he's forbidden, but he's not killed for it. Kazem Mishnah questions what the Ram says, both whether it's a limb or the meat, which is separated from the animal or from the wild animal while it's alive. From Chulun, he asks the question of Chulun 102b. For Rav Yechanan, Yisrael, who ate Bosa Menachai, there's no din of Eir Menachai. Only because it says both of us saw the trevel is a It's included in the fact that you can't eat meat that's straight. Eishlokish mechayev. Eishlokish says you lie. Well, mishum eva menachai because it's part of eva menachai. And the Ram says that codifies the halacha like Rabbi Yochanan that you are liable on both of menachai on meat from a live animal because of trevel. And Ben Noyach wasn't told on Trefa. So how did you write here that Ben Noyach is, is killed for, for meat? And he says that this needs further thought. We can't conclude it without further thought. Because the Mishnah continues to bring from the Bryce and Chulon that meat that separates from an animal that is slaughtered but is still quivering is like from a live animal as far as the goy is concerned, it's forbidden. 
and he adds uh, that Bryce, uh, this is what the Ram relied, relied when he said meat that separates from a live animal is forbidden. Still, we have to know how does he say that halacha is a benoyach is forbidden in meat from a live animal, and he still says that halacha is like Rabbi Yechonon that we saw that by meat there's no din of Eidam and Achai, only Issa Trefa. By Benoyach, there's no Issa Trefa by a Goy. Lacha Mishnah cites a Brysa, or a Boishia, and he clarifies, like Rabbi Yechonon says, Yisrael is forbidden in meat from Achai, that since it says, you should not eat the soul with the meat, like it shouldn't be eaten, means regarding the soul. Like Rashi says, the Eidam and Achai is called the soul. If you don't cut it off, it will never grow back another limb. And it's like taking a part of the of the, of the, of the soul. Therefore, like Soichal, do not eat it, is talking about Eidam and Achai, but that's the Nefesh. The Imam Boso, with the meat, it comes to, if, if Nefesh means the limb, then Imam Boso means to tell us that the Boso is forbidden. That's where the Raman source is for the meat. By Beneach, it says, eating by Boso, the, but the meat in its soul, with the blood, you should not eat. You should not eat meat when it still has its soul in it. And like Rashi, therefore, that the simple explanation of the passage tells us that Benoyach is forbidden for Bosom and Achai. And we have to make this distinction. Because otherwise, it'll be, it is a question from the Bryce of Rab Oishia. It would seem that Bosom and Achai is forbidden to Benoyach. And Rabbi Yechonon, that Bosom and Achai is learned from Issa Trefa. And Benoyach is not Chai and a Trefa. Thus, we would say that according to the Lecha Mishnah, Rabbi Yechonon, Yisrael, Bosom and Achai is forbidden Mishum Trefa. But by Benoyach, the Yisrael Bosom and Achai is because of Eivim and Achai. Therefore, the Ramam says that Benoyach is forbidden to eat Bosom and Achai. The Ran and the Rajbo make a differentiation between Yisrael and Benoyach, like the Bech and Mishnah. And therefore, there is, it's understood, the, the question of the Kess and Mishnah is not relevant if, if they make that distinction. The Maram Shiv. <coughs> explains that going to Ramba Menoyach is liable on meat from a live animal only if he cut off the limb and then afterwards he took the meat from that same limb and ate it. He's liable on the meat from the live animal because of Eva Menachai. Because the, boss of, the meat was taken together with the Eva when it was cut off. However, if he would just cut off meat, maybe... It would be different, and maybe that's what the Ramam is of the opinion that Ben Noyach was not warned about eating meat from a live animal, and he's not punished for it, only if he takes it, the meat from a, even though from the limb, without eating the other items of the limb. Tzitzvah cites that the words of the Rambam, but the birds would seem to be are not forbidden, and the Ben Noyach would not be liable for Eidim and Achai for taking a limb, a living limb from it. It depends on a machlogis we find in the Durham, 54b. Point of Abakiva, oif is considered meat. And somebody says, not to, I make a vow not to eat meat, it's forbidden to eat birds. Point of Shiming Amlio, oif is not part of meat. And since by Eve Menachai it says, bosom meat, therefore, bird is not considered part of it. Allah is like Abakiva, but he disagrees with one Tana. Therefore, oif is included in the forbiddenness. Uh, the Neuch can argue we are of the opinion like Abshumi Amlio, that Oif is not part of meat, and therefore, it won't be, and therefore it's no Eivim and Achai. On the other side, you can say, even the Neuch is forbidden by Oif, because you're going to have a key, it's Bikral Boso. The Chedushi, Dover, Amor, and the Ramam explains that the Ramam is of the opinion that uh, bird is not meat. Besides, it tells Mamun on Shmois 2319, <coughs> it says you should not cook a goat with its mother's milk. We learned that we're talking about 
it's forbidden to do with meat with milk. Whether it's meat, eat meat from an animal or from a wild animal, but meat of a bird <coughs> <coughs> is not awesome in our Torah, and because bird, a bird is not meat. And so the Raman Paskins, the Ben Sera Meira, is only called Zayel Vesayve, he's called overindulging in food when he eats, drinks wine and eats meat, and he's talking about meat of an animal. But if he ate from a bird, he would not be liable. Therefore, according to the Rambam, Ach, Bosa, Ben Avshay, Demon Chelu, it does not include bird. That's the reason why Ben Noach would not be killed by Ben Achai from a bird. He adds, the Ridvaz uh, makes this disagreement hinge on the law whether some of you makes a vow by meat is forbidden with birds. But he explains, it will, even according to Abba Akiva, who forbids somebody who made the vow about meat and were, to eat bird, that's because we go according to what people constitute as meat. Abba Akiva is the opinion that people today consider birds meat. And that's the liability by a vow. But in the Torah, it could be that bird, that meat does not include bird. The Chemnitz Yisrael, Meir Don Plotsky, says witness on the Ridvaz that you can't say that since Chemnitz Yisrael states on the Ridvaz, you can't say that since in Beneda there are though there's a thought that oif is not considered meat. By Eva Menachai, it's not considered my meat, because bird, uh, vows depend upon what a person understands. If he questions by birds, by the slov, it says, they ask for meat, and they got slov. Slov is a bird. And it says the meat was still between their, fe- their, their teeth when they were punished. So it would seem that the ter- in an, even in the Torah, a bird is considered meat. Nechsam Soiva cites the words of the Rambam here, that Ben Noach is not killed for even a chai from a bird. And he brings down the Migdal Oiz, that according to the Rambam, a bird is not considered meat. <coughs> that what it's, it's, we, find, we say in Sanhedrin, share it, because it says, Ach, Bosa Ben Domoi, only somebody who's, whose blood is part of the meat, even though a share is not called Bosa, that's, it, that's just, pushing it off and therefore would really be applying to also meaning meat of an animal not meat of a bird some say that I use that I doesn't understand it but actually this is the truth because according to the Torah it's not clarified that bird is called meat and therefore somebody would send a shliach to set, purchase meat and he found only birds he has to go back and ask if he can purchase it. So we see that a bird is not called meat. And if it would be clear in the Torah that a bird is called meat by because, by vows, he would say even if people do not usually uh, refer to birds as meat, we would go after Loshan Torah. And uh, furthermore, in the Hedushia, the Chassam Seva says, in my Chedushim, in Bishalach, he answered to say bosa by slov. Why is it called bird? One, because whatever you're commanded not to eat the blood, it includes birds. Therefore, that's what it calls meat. Uh, is referring to birds. When Noach is killed on it, like everything else where they're forbidden, where they're warned, they're killed. Because by going as a that's only going to have you the Nobeloza, that they who say culture domoi also, whenever his blood is forbidden. But la aloha, going to our homim, who don't learn culture at the Mitzvah domoi, there's no source that oif is called bosa. You have to say they learned from ach bosa ben avshay domo le comes to minimize. A, ro- a, a an insect, and therefore, the menorahs would be liable on off because of this trash. Thus, the only reason a menorah would be liable on off is because of a drosha, a deduction rather than a specified forbiddenness. Now, I'm the opinion, the would not be killed on what's learned from a drosha, 
Therefore, he says, it would seem to me that a Ben Noach would not be killed on an oif, even though we learn it from that it is forbidden, bird would be forbidden for a Jew, Eva Menachai.